Picture this, you're flying over a landscape and looking down at a river that twists and turns like a snake. Ever wondered why rivers can't just go straight like a responsible adult GPS route? Well, buckle up, because this winding waterway mystery is about to get weirdly scientific and surprisingly satisfying. Here's the thing, rivers don't want to work harder than they have to. Water follows the path of least resistance. If there's a slightly easier route to take, even by a few inches, the river will start veering in that direction. Over time, those little detours add up, and before you know it, the river's doing full-on S-curves like it's auditioning for a racetrack. This is called meandering, and it's basically nature's way of saying, efficiency first, aesthetics later. Blame the erosion party. Rivers don't just flow, they sculpt. The outer edge of a curve has faster-moving water, which erodes the bank more aggressively. The inner edge has slower water which drops sediment and builds up. That erosion and deposition duo keeps exaggerating the curves until you've got a river that looks like it's doing cursive. And yes, it's the same principle whether you're looking at the Mississippi River or the little stream behind your local park. The flatter the terrain, the more a river has room to go wild. In steep mountains, rivers are too busy rushing downhill like they're late for a meeting. But on flatland, they've got time to swerve, curve, and chill. It's like the difference between a freeway through the mountains and a lazy Sunday drive drive through the Midwest, Oxbow Lakes. Sometimes, rivers get a little too bendy. When a meander becomes super exaggerated, a big flood or heavy erosion can cause the river to cut through the neck of the loop, abandoning the curve entirely. That leftover loop becomes an Oxbow Lake, which is basically a river ghost. It's like, we had fun, but I've moved on. Goodbye, bend. By the way, you might not know this. An Oxbow Lake is a U-shaped body of water formed when a meandering river gets cut off from its main flow over time. So why don't all rivers meander? Good question. Some rivers flow pretty straight, especially if the land is steep or rocky. Man-made channels, like canals, are designed to go straight because humans hate inefficiency. But even then, if left alone, nature starts to take back control. Even engineered rivers can start to wiggle if erosion is allowed to do its thing. Some meandering rivers provide better habitats for wildlife thanks to their varied flow and sediment deposits. Birds, fish, amphibians, they all thrive where the river takes its sweet time. It's basically Airbnb for nature. Even floodplains, the flat land around meandering rivers are super fertile, which is why humans have built civilizations near them for thousands of years. You've probably heard of the Nile. Yup, thank a meander for that one. Here's where it gets spicy. Humans hate inefficiency. So for centuries, we've tried to straighten rivers for farming, flood control, and easier shipping routes. But when we force rivers to behave, they often misbehave. Straightened rivers speed up, cause more erosion downstream, and can make floods worse. Modern science now leans toward restoration, letting rivers regain their natural curves to protect ecosystems and reduce flood risks. Turns out, sometimes the wiggly way is the wiser way. Rivers have been meandering for millions of years. Some of the curves we see today started forming in the Ice Age, or even earlier. And in some places, geologists have found ancient riverbeds fossilized into rock, preserving the meanders of rivers that vanished before humans ever showed up. That means, when you look at a curvy river from above, you're not just seeing a current waterway. You're looking at the long-term memory of Earth's surface, written in sediment and flow. Over time, rivers don't just shape the land. They create valleys, widen floodplains, and even guide where species migrate or where ancient humans built their homes. Rivers, especially meandering ones, are literal architects of geography and civilization. And get this, scientists even use meandering patterns on Mars to study ancient water flow. That's right, there are Martian curves. So next time you fly over a winding river, just remember, you're looking at history in motion. Rivers don't twist and turn to annoy map makers. They're doing exactly what physics and geology tell them to do. They're flowing downhill, slowly carving their way across the land in the laziest, most natural way possible. So next time you see a meandering river, don't just think wiggly water. Think erosion, sediment, velocity, and a waterway that's got time to vibe. Drop a comment. If you were a river, would you go straight or take the scenic route? We read every comment, and your idea might be our next video, like this video. Subscribe to YX for more weird science that actually makes sense. Turn on notifications so you never miss what's winding next.